YouTube and the YouTube vinyl community. This is Rob of Spinning Out with Rob. And this weekend I decided to take a little road trip to Yellow Springs, Ohio. Yellow Springs is a little village between Dayton and Springfield. And it's a quaint little town. It's a throwback to the 60s. I mean, you definitely feel like you're in a time warp. Lots of jewelry stores, lots of turquoise, and you know things like that, and used bookstores, and there's a vintage guitar store that's really cool, and an old art theater. Just a just a fun place, and um, just people walking around, and it's 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 just a nice place to go, just an old getaway. Um, an example of Yellow Springs is. Their pizza place is called Ha Ha Pizza because the mushrooms used to have a little ha ha in them. And, well, they no longer do. Um, plain old mushrooms on the pizza. So that's, you know, good thing for me. I don't know how you guys feel. It doesn't really matter. But um, it's just kind of funny. Pizza is good, though. So... The record store in Yellow Springs is called Toxic Beauty Records. And Toxic Beauty is a small store. It's in the upstairs of a jewelry building that houses a jewelry store. And they, with the pandemic going on, they only allow five people in the store at a time. And I was impressed how careful they are with making sure you sanitize your hands before you walk in and making sure they keep it to that limit. So, good shopping experience and I'm appreciative of the owner being safe. Um, Toxic Beauty does plan on expanding and they're going to expand downstairs next to the jewelry store. The used records will be on the, in the current location upstairs and downstairs will be a store titled Vinyl Gram and Vinyl Gram is going to have a pickup window so you can just walk by and pick up your record and they're also going to have a website so I'm excited to see how they grow as they expand into the newer dual location so to speak. So the records that I picked up um, first one I'm going to highlight here is called the Blues Project Projections and the Blues Project was a band of um, artists from the Greenwich Village scene and before this album came out they added Al Cooper to the lineup on keyboards and Al Cooper left the band after this record to form Blood, Sweet, Sweat and Tears. So this, this record um, it's a really fun listen. It's got that 60s pop vibe, a little psych to it. Just a good record. So Blues Project, Projections, and it's easy to find. Um, you should have no trouble finding that record. The next record is Burt Janch, A Rare Conundrum. And uh, Burt Janch was one of the founders of the Pentangle which was a 60s folk, jazz, rock band. Um, John Renborn was in the band along with um, Burt Janch, so two amazing guitar players. Um, Burt Janch uh, passed away in 2011. And um, this, is, this is a really good solo work. And um, this is a copy of the um, Pentangle's first album, which is definitely one to pick up as well. I had this in my collection and I figured I would pull it out. Now, what I didn't realize was I already had a copy of A Rare Conundrum, which is this one, which this is the original cover, but this was a record store day release a few years back. It's on gold vinyl. And this one came with a CD with some bonus songs so I'm going to keep both pressings um, so I have both covers I normally don't 
keep multiple pressings of records due to space, but um, in this case I will keep both. This record is really cool. Um, it was a Black Friday release that I didn't know about, and the owner Josh recommended it to me and a couple others in the store. In fact, another customer bought one as well. It is the Jahari Masamba unit, pardon my French. And this record is Mad Lib playing all the instruments except for drums, which are played by Kareem Riggins. And it's a pure jazz record. I had no idea that Mad Lib was such a good musician. But this is definitely a great find. I'm glad it was recommended to me. And probably find some still around in the leftover RSD bins at your local record store. So this is a good listen. I'm really enjoying it. Next. Um, is a record um, from Chick Corea who recently passed away. Um, I have not had a chance to listen to this record yet, but um, um, of course he is a wonderful keyboard player and so I'm looking forward to giving this one a listen. So um, I don't have any thoughts on it, but it should be pretty good. I see this one quite a bit and I've always passed up on it, so I finally decided to, to pick it up and so it's fairly common as well. The next record on my list is, yes, this one, Getz and Gil Gilberto, and this is a record everyone should have in their collection. It's just a fabulous album, um, and this one I've been looking for for a while because it's the Acoustic Sounds series, which is like a budget audiophile series along the lines of the Tone Poet series. And it just sounds fantastic. It, it, it's great. And so I have an original of this as well, and I haven't really compared the two, but this thing is just fantastic. So if you see this pressing, I think it's out of print, um, and you don't have this record in your collection, or you just want another pressing, grab it, because it's fabulous. And the other one is just a, I didn't, this isn't a record I picked up at Toxic Beauty, but just a, a funny story that, you know, kind of happened to me. So, have you ever ordered a record off of Amazon or Discogs or eBay and they just you get the wrong record and you actually like it well that happened to me um, I meant to get a Yo La Tango record and it was an EP um, titled A Riot Is Going On which I have not heard yet but um, I got this Hot Chip record and I'm really liking it. It's a good record. And so I got basically got a free record off of Amazon because they said you can keep it. But the little sticker here shows the barcode for There's a Riot Going On by Yola Tango. So I called Amazon and they said they're going to try to fix that, but you can keep the record in the meantime. So I did and I'm enjoying it. So that's Hot Chip. So that came in the mail this week. And that's really it for today. Um, once again, I want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, thank all my new subscribers. I'm up to 100, so I'm getting a little excited here. And I'm really enjoying this and being a part of the vinyl community on YouTube and sharing my collection with you because music is meant to be shared. I mean, that that's the bottom line and that's something I firmly believe in is that music should be shared so I'm glad to be able to do this and I'm glad to have this forum so thank you very much for hanging in there and watching this and until next time this is Rob and I am spinning out